Hi James, it's CG Cars here with a walk around video of our 2012, well it's a mid 2012 because it's a 62 plate Ford C Max 1 litre EcoBoost. This car is a low mileage vehicle that's just undergone a major cam belt service, oil and filters, and a new advisory free MOT, so it's all set to go. As well as our major service, we have a folder full of a service history paperwork on this vehicle to show it's been very well cared for. As per our norm, we're going to go around the vehicle in detail now, show you inside and out so you know exactly what you'd be coming to see. So starting at the front of the car, looking across the bonnet, it's a lovely metallic bronze. The bonnet's in really good condition with only a couple of minor stone chips that have been touched in just there on the front edge. But it's free of dings and dents and major scratches. Headlights are lovely and clear. No cracks, no water ingress, anything like that. Looking across the front here, your badge is in lovely condition. All the chrome works good and the plastics are good. Same with the lower grille here. It's not cracked and damaged. All the chrome works good. It's not flaking off. The bumper itself has a few minor stone chips, but overall in lovely condition. No scrapes and scratches on the corners on either side. So you see the paintwork's got really good gloss to it as well. It's got a real good shine. So coming around the passenger side, the front wing here, good condition. No dings, no dents, no scratches. The alloy is free of any curbing. Center caps are nice. Loads of tread on the front tire there. The wing mirror cap is good. There's no scrapes or scratches to that at all either. And the door here on the uh, passenger side, really good condition. Very, very light little scratch there. I will be very picky. Like I say, we like people to know exactly what they're coming to see. But we must obviously bear in mind this car is now getting on for 12 years old. The condition really is excellent. Again, this door in really good condition. It's a bit of compound there. That's a very good condition overall. Really good shine to it. Nothing really is note body work wise there at all. Same with the quarter panel here. That's in excellent condition. See how reflective it is. The rear alloy, again, good condition some very very minor marks if I was very picky tire brand new pretty much brand new there on the back the rear light cluster here at the back again no cracks no damage no water ingress the corner of the bumper free of scrapes and scratches we do have parking sensors along the back of the car here but one of the reasons we haven't got more marking on the back plastics good looking around the back the rear boot lid in good condition. The badge is showing some lack of peel there, but we do have another one on the way. We well, yeah, didn't have it in time for this video, but we'll be replacing that with a new badge so that looks nice and fresh there. The rest of the badging on the back, very good condition. No major scrapes and scratches across the loading edge of the boot there. Just a couple of small little chips here and there. Again, nothing outrageous at all. Looking across the roof, that's in excellent order. No dings, no dents, no scrapes, no scratches there. The rear light cluster on the driver's side, no cracks or damage to that, that's looking nice and clear as well. The bumper on the driver's side is in good overall condition, there's a little scrape just there, again if I'm being a bit picky, but uh, overall in very good condition. The quarter panel here on the driver's side again, nice, no major scrapes or scratches to note there at all. The alloy on this side again is uncurbed, no real marks at all, centre cap's nice. Brand new tire on that. I think we might have done both tires on that for the MOT actually. So both rear tires are pretty much brand new. The passenger on the driver's side, again, excellent. No major dings or dents, or we've been repetitive. No major dings or dents to note at all. Edges of the door are good, free of scraping and chips. The driver's door, again, very, very good. No scrapes or scratches really to note there at all on that. The wing mirror cap. Excellent, that hasn't been caught. And finally, the driver's front wing. Again, very, very good condition. The alloy, no, a uh, very small curb, very small amount of curbing on that one. And again, nearly new tire on the front there. So you've got nearly new tires on the front and pretty much new ones on the back. So stepping back from the car and looking at a normal manner without being quite so picky, to be honest, it's in really, really good condition for the age. There's no major dings, dents, scrapes, scratches. The paintwork's got a really good gloss to it. There's no real major colour differences in any of the panels. It looks excellent. All the wheels are in good order. You've got new tyres all around. All the lights are nice and clear. Not cracked or filling with water. 
So yeah, really good. So let's take a look at the interior. So I'm pleased to say the interior, again, like the exterior, is in really nice condition. Now, obviously the mileage is low on this one. What's the exact mileage? 53,032 miles. So it's had very little wear on it. And you can see that on all the buttons. They're all nice and clear. They haven't worn out, been worn through at all. All in nice nickel. The seat fabrics are excellent. There's no tears, stains. There's no wear through on the bolsters. So what have we got features wise? We've got Bluetooth and we have air conditioning. We have heated front screen. We have auxiliary input so you can plug your phone directly into the sound system that way if you wish. You've got CD and radio. We can control there. You've got six speed manual gearbox so it gives really good economy. Electric front windows, electric mirrors. Like I say, everything in here is in lovely order. We'll go through the service history in a bit. So going into the back of the car, again, all the fabrics are in lovely condition. No tears, no stains. All the plastics are good. Got the fitted mats in there. Everything really nice, Nick. Plenty of leg room, plenty of space in there. Nice high ceiling, feels ni nice and light and airy inside. So into the boot of the car, that's all in good condition. Now we have left in the um, boot buddy that came with the car. So that's a plastic uh, custom made liner that fits exactly into the boot and protects all your carpets if you put dogs or maybe cuttings from a garden or something inside. That's kept all the carpets in lovely condition in the vehicle. And we felt that might as well stay with the car, but it can be removed if you wish. You've got a 60-40 split, so you can put your seats down if you wish. I think actually it might be a um, three-way split on these, just let me remind myself one moment. I think you can individually, yes, you can individually. Uh, let me just show you one second. You can individually break the seats down, so you can, what is it, 33 and a third split on it. So you can and then just hold those there and they can actually be taken out completely as well I believe if you go a step further on it. So really versatile car for carrying bits and bobs about. Underneath the engine bay for those that are interested again nice and clean and tidy so it's a one litre turbocharged engine with what's known as a wet belt which is due to be changed every 10 years or 150,000 miles. We have just completed that wet belt service on the car so the belt again is good for 10 years or 150,000 miles. You want to buy one with that done because that service retail wise is about 12 to 1400 pounds. It includes changing the belt, doing the oils and filters, cleaning out the sump of the car as well. So this is all set. So your services from going forwards now will be just oil and filters for the next 10 years before that needs to be done again. So going through the paperwork, we have your MOT certificate there. So new MOT, advisory free. We haven't left any advisories on there. We have given, kept a copy of the invoice for the work we've had done to the vehicle so you know what's been done there, which is renew the timing belt kit. I've renewed the water pump as well. And then you've got all the parts down here. Um, even our trade rate, that's 985 pounds. So that's something you want to make sure if you're buying one of these, that's been done on the vehicle. You've got this folder full of paperwork the customer left us with. They were happy to have um, pass on. Lots of invoices for work on the car. As to what's stamped in the book, we haven't stamped ours in there yet. 2012, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, uh, 19, 21, and 24. And then our service there, which wasn't done long after that one because the cam belt wasn't done with that one. They did do the pollen filter and so forth. So then our service there. So really good services. Like I say, lots of other receipts in here for bits and bobs as well. They're happy for us to pass on. So there we have it, a nice low mileage car in fantastic condition inside and out with a comprehensive service history and a massive service with the cam belt just completed. So it's all set for the next 10 years on that. It's got a new advisory free MOT all ready to go. We'll be going out the door to you with a three month, 3000 mile warranty national that can be used at any VAT registered garage. We welcome part exchange. Should you need finance, we can also help you with that. Should you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Please take the time to read our reviews both on Google and Facebook. You'll find we're five star rated. Many thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you soon.